What's going on people? Welcome to GFX Capture. In today's video, I'm going to share with you how to edit and customize a After Effects templates for social media, Instagram stories, but you can also use the same concept for other social media platforms like uh, Facebook, uh, YouTube, TikTok, etc, etc. Invato Elements has a lot of templates that you can use and utilize it royalty free without any licensing issue um, whether you are looking for sound effects whether you're looking for graphic templates whether you're looking for stock images stock videos and also audio effect as well and music so if you're looking for that do go and have a look at the Invato Elements website the link is in my description below if you want to save on your subscription for Invato Elements so without further ado let's go and have a look open up your project file and if you get this message, just click OK. And now, as you know, I always create a new folder in my project, which is always called media. Although there is one over here already, which actually shows to me that the, the, the composer who has created this project has actually put everything nicely together. And the, the final rendering is going to be much easier as well. But just for my own self, I always just say media my own. OK. So let's do that. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to scene number one, for example, now. And or first of all, let's just actually download all the media. So this is all my media. And now I'm going to drag it into the folder so that it's nicely saved over here. And then let's go to the scene number one. OK, so this is where we're going to edit. And as you can see, there are some subfolders, subcompositions. And there are some sub compositions for media and sub compositions for text as well, which is actually good because we can just target each of them individually. So let's go to the media first of all, and I'm going to drag my first image in here. You can always uh, create or sorry, you can always bring your own media file. So this is going to be I'll do control S just to reduce the size of it. This should be fine. And I'm going to close this. I'm going to go to text number one. So here you've got the um, text and I'm just going to say something like And I'll leave the rest of the text as it is. You can play around with it. You can change the, the font. You can change the color of the, the text here if you like. And all you need to do is simply go into the uh, text properties here. And you can change the, the fill, the stroke, the, the size, etc, etc. Okay. And let me just show you how easy it is to do that. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to do a control Z and control Z just to keep the original format. If you like, if you don't, then as I said, you can change it to whatever you like. We're going to close this and we're going to go back to our scene one to change the rest of the text. So as you can see here straight away, GFX capture Instagram stories. Okay, there you go. We changed it. I'm going to go to the second one here or the third one rather convenient okay so this text i'm going to change it to youtube i don't know just for the sake of this video okay and then i'm going to go to the third one or actually which is the second one okay so something like that so very simply we have just changed almost all of the 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 first sub composition we'll now go to the fourth one and it says customization we're just looking at the the scene one i'm just going to say subscribe okay and as i said you can change it to whatever you like okay once you've done the changes you can just simply close it and there we have it and so the number five let's see change colors easily and i'm going to change it to something like i 
Okay, there you have it. So very simply, as you can see, we have just changed the first sub composition. Let's play it. This is beautiful. Okay, so in the same way, I'm not going to do all of the, the five compositions, but I'll do the first, maybe the, the three of them so that you have, you get the idea of what we're trying to achieve. There we have it. And can uh, just press S for the, the scale. And there I'll leave it at that. I'm going to go to media three and bring something else over here. Okay, I like this one and we'll just bring this one down here. Press S again to scale it down. I think that should be okay. I'll just push it down a bit as well. You can do it with your keyboard directional buttons as well, or you can just do a uh, P for the position to change the X and the Y axis. There we have it. Okay, and now it's time to change the text. So it's going to be 06. And over here, I'm going to say GFX capture Instagram stories. Text number seven, if we go over here, and we'll just say something random. Literally, it is something random. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to delete this one because I don't think I'm going to add anything over here, or let's do it anyway. Um, something random, again, something random. Okay, and if you get this line, it means that your caps is on. If you release the caps, and that will go. So it just basically shows that with the caps lock on, you can't see the preview. Okay, so just be, be careful with that, be mindful of that and change everything. We want to say improve everything. Okay, because as we say, there's always room for improvement. And we're going to say change colors only. Let's say change, change starts today. Never leave it to tomorrow. There may not be tomorrow. Okay, so again, as you saw, we have very, very quickly created the second scene as well. And that is coming up over here. And you will be able to straight away export this or all of it all together or all of these scenes individually as well. So which makes it really nice for your Instagram stories and also other platforms uh, on the social media. If you have, um, it just makes it a lot easier to, to, uh, to manage those. Let's go here and I'm going to bring another image over here. And obviously, as you know, or you may know, um, you can also bring video files here as well. Okay. I just do video just to make the rendering a bit easy and quick in the, these tutorials, but you can always bring a video file here as well if you need. So going to our text number 10, and let's see what this one is. Easy customization, no plugins required. That's what we like. And again, guys, as I said, if you want to save on your Envato subscription, the link is in the description below. Do click on it and it will take you straight away and recognize um, that it's a affiliate link. Yes, it is an affiliate link, but it will save you on your subscription fee. There you have it. Change starts today. Okay, and then you can, the rest of it, basically you can customize it all, all the same way. Okay, so as I said, I'm not going to do all of them, but just to show you how quickly and easily all of these templates can be customized, it is just within the few clicks, you have all of your templates and sub-compositions edited, customized, and ready to be exported. So once you've done that, you can just play it quickly to have a look 
and if depending on your pc you can always do a preview in the half or the third or a quarter of a resolution because depending on 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 how heavy your file is or composition is you can you can always run it in half or third so i'm just going to run it in half and see how it actually works okay let's do this there we go nicely done nicely done and all you need to do is just save it first and then you can either go to export it as a media encoder or add it to the render queue uh, whichever one you want i've already got uh, tutorials and videos in my channel on which one to use and how to use each of them do come and have a look in my playlist and so this is all it guys um, this is all it uh, for today if you have any questions do leave them in the comments and if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe give it a like give it a thumbs up and until the next video look after yourself and see you soon bye